as we're counting down the days to the Google Pixel 3a launch on May 8th, and that just leaked in a Best Buy because why not? And also counting down the days to the OnePlus 7 Pro launching on May 14th, and that's also leaking everywhere. What's the point of talking about these phones now pre-release? Because in 2019, they are leaking everywhere. I mean, I'm seriously, they're leaking in Best Buy, literal physical stores. What is up party people today is May 3rd and here we are talking about the Google Pixel 4 concept. There are some rumors leaking around that the Google Pixel hardware team is divided into three individual groups and those three individual groups are assigned to develop their own each individual unique design for the Google Pixel 4 and I guess let's say like in a month. They're gonna all come together and they're all gonna say, ooh, I like this design, oh, I don't really like that design. And that's all to prevent any group think side effects. But still, with this little leak that's kind of really early for the Google Pixel 4, which I, by the way, I think it's entirely fake, it kind of just looks like a Samsung S10 with a dual camera on the back. Although it's super interesting and I would love for this to come from Google because Google has the best camera software. If you've never tried a Google Pixel, I definitely recommend to try to get your hands on it because just coming from an iPhone and coming from a Samsung device, when you see those photos that the Google Pixel takes with just one single camera, you're in awe, especially with that night sight. When you take a picture with night sight and compare it to your iPhone or whatever or other smartphone device you have, you're just like, well, Night Sight is that good and it's all because of software. So if Google matches up with the hardware and the software, I think you have that ideal phone. But I do have to say, if a Pixel 4 does come out like that with a few extra features, I think it's the perfect phone. Although it's not a foldable phone and I think those technologies is for sure the future because who doesn't want an iPad and a phone in one pocket? That's just kind of really, really good for value. But also if a Pixel 4 comes like that, I am gonna be so impressed and it's gonna be really hard for me not to press that buy button. But do I think and the Pixel 4 is gonna come out like that? I already said the leak looks fake, but I just don't think the hardware team is that capable of doing a Pixel 4 that good. I mean, the whole Pixel generation from the one to two to three have all had their flaws. I mean, the first one just looked exactly like an iPhone, like the front, the back, ugh, it just reeked iPhone 6 vibes. And that's not good when you're trying to start your own product line. Google and also the Pixel 3 last year with that notch and all those RAM gigabytes problems. If the Pixel 4 has six gig gigabytes of RAM, Snapdragon 855, a 10 times optical zoom camera, I know it's never been done before, but if Google matches that 10 times periscope camera with that software, oh, that's gonna be scary good, especially with just all, all their software, I can't imagine. And also fourth, you're gonna have to keep that ultra wide on the front, but also add a ultra wide camera on the back and also add two way reverse wireless charging and somehow keep those front firing stereo speakers all with carrying IP68 water resistance. That right there is my perfect phone. Will it happen? I don't think so, because I just do not have that much hope in Google. I mean, they're good at making smart speakers, but smartphones, oh, that's just not the same. And if you're not familiar with this five times optical zoom that's only found on two phones right now that I know of, the one of which is the Huawei P30 Pro and the other one is the Oppo Reno. Both are supporting this 10 times hybrid zoom, but this is just using those large, huge megapixels on the primary camera to mix in with that actual five times optical zoom. And that Periscope camera, how it does it, it has the whole lens shifted to the side of the phone with a mirror reflecting 90 degrees to get the picture, you know, the right format. And this is all having optical image stabilization. So you can literally zoom in on the moon with the Huawei P30 Pro. Sure, the moon will be a little bit blurry, but it actually comes out pretty decent. And what I'm really hoping for is that by the end of this year, 2019, if a phone comes out with a 10 times optical zoom, not hybrid, Oh, it's gonna be really hard for me not to buy that because that's the thing with these DSLRs which I'm filming on right now 
They're amazing quality, but you just have to switch out so many lenses to get all of these focal lengths. And if you just carry a phone around, which is really around like 150 millimeters thin, then you really can't go wrong having a huge focal length from let's say 16 millimeters, which is super wide, all the way to a condensed 20 times digital zoom, which is definitely not bad for photos, slight worse for videos, but that's still very usable for all my filmmaking needs. I am so hyped on this super zoom technology. I think this is really what people are going to upgrade to these newer phones. That's the solar reason. Sure, the two-way reverse wireless charging is cool. The OnePlus 7 Pro is going to have a 90 hertz refresh rate display, which is amazing. Well, I think the real reason that people are going to upgrade for is that super zoom camera. I mean, at least that's what I'm looking at. I mean, just 10 times optical zoom, that is special. You could literally just stalk people. I'm not recommending at all. But if you're in New York City on standing like one side of the street, you could just go, choo, 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 choo. And imagine if there's like a moon eclipse. Yeah, a lunar eclipse. That's what they call it. And you could just zoom in on that red moon and show off to all your friends. Like, look what I do with my phone. Now, that's the future I'm talking about. Like, just 50 times zoom from something that's that thin. That's very, very impressive. But that is all we have today. Thank you for watching this video. I just wanted to talk about this super zoom periscope camera, which interests me by far out of any other new novel feature in 2019 for all these smartphones. If the iPhone 11 comes out with 10 times optical zoom, that is an insta buy. If the Pixel 4 comes out with 10 times optical zoom, insta the buy. And I think you get it with all the rest of the companies. Whoever does it first, I am going to be on that bandwagon train all the way. But that is all for today. Thank you for watching this video, and I will see you tomorrow for the latest and greatest. Peace out. Three, two, one. Offensive fouls. Leonard loses it. Simmons, two on one. Throws it up. Butler throws it down. Butler had the big fourth quarter in game two. Embiid for three. Joel Embiid is three for three from downtown.